Now the question is how to measure selectivity, how to understand the selectivity of the receiver from this power curve or the selectivity curve. So we use a parameter called shape factor which is used to measure the selectivity. Shape factor is defined as bandwidth of the receiver at minus 60 dB divided by bandwidth of the receiver at minus 3 dB or minus 60 dB bandwidth and minus 3 dB bandwidth in terms of our notation it is bandwidth 2 upon bandwidth 1. So this is the definition of the shape factor. Now ideally what should be the shape factor value? Just now we say that ideally any receiver should be receiving frequencies only in the desired band and not outside that. So the desired band will be the 3 dB band which is the actual bandwidth for any system and hence ideally after the 3 dB band is crossed the receiver should not be receiving any other frequencies outside this particular band and that simply means that outside this particular band the normalized power values or the dB values should come down to zero and hence we should get rectangular power spectrum outside this particular band which is defined using bandwidth 1. So ideally shape factor should be equal to 1 that means the bandwidth at 3 dB and bandwidth at 60 dB they must be equal and hence when you take the ratio the shape factor will be 1 but in practice as you can see bandwidth at 60 dB will be greater than bandwidth at 3 dB so shape factor is always greater than 1. It should not be very much greater than 1 because suppose if we have a curve which is something like this the curve which is very wide this means that apart from the desired band of frequency the receiver is receiving the unwanted frequencies also with very large amplitudes in such a case shape factor value will be much much greater than one on the other hand we can have something in which the curve is very narrow if the curve is very narrow the 3 dB bandwidth and the 60 dB bandwidth will be almost same and in such a case shape factor will be very much close to equal to 1. So any receiver with the value of shape factor close to 1 will be a good receiver in terms of selectivity. Now last important point under the discussion of selectivity. The question is selectivity depends upon which all components inside the receiver. So that is something very important to understand because once you understand that we can design the receiver in such a way that it has got a good selectivity. So selectivity mainly depends upon the frequency response of IF section of the receiver which is the intermediate frequency section of the receiver and it also to certain extent depends upon the RF amplifier and mixer which are the components before the IEF section of the receiver. But majorly selectivity depends upon the frequency response of IEF section that means IEF amplifiers, the intermediate frequency amplifiers. We all know that after down conversion the major part of the receiver operates at intermediate frequency. It is this part which should have precise bandwidth and should not allow any unwanted frequencies to enter into the receiver at later part. RF amplifier and the pre-selector which are there uh, before the IEF section along with mixer should also to certain extent block the unwanted frequencies but even in case they allow any unwanted frequencies to enter into the receiver it is IEF amplifier stage which should make sure that all these unwanted frequencies are not amplified further by carefully designing the IEF section mainly the IF amplifiers which we can improve the selectivity of the receiver.